You woke up this morning with a plan. There's things you're going to do. You have goals to accomplish and deadlines to meet. But life is probably going to get in the way. But how you feel at the end of the day all depends on how you reacted to what life threw at you. Today, we'll share the mindset shifts you can make so you can manage whatever life throws your way and not completely lose your shit. Something I tell people that I work with all the time is life is always going to get in the way. Whatever's on your calendar, whatever your plans are, whatever you think you're going to do, life is going to come along, throw a left hook and completely throw everything off and you're going to have to pivot. You have to find a way to make it work. Literally, this episode is an example of that. Normally, we record on Monday afternoons. Life got in the way. So here we are Tuesday morning putting this together so that on Wednesday, we have something here to share with you. There's an awful lot of blame there, Jeremy, because it was my life that got in the way. Oh, it's completely, comple- 100% your fault. I had nothing to, I was sitting here, feet up, ready to go. But no, Zach, uh, you know, life happened and he had to pivot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, always, it's always my fault, always. <laughs> and that's just one example, right? All last week, I didn't go to the gym once, which, you know, not terribly out of the ordinary for me anyways, but I've been doing pretty good. Last week, I, had, I made some changes. I, I didn't feel like it. I had things that came up, scheduling conflicts. And so I ended up going for like four different hikes. Yesterday was the same situation. I had a terrible night's sleep. W- once I recovered, once I woke up, I went out to walk my dogs and realized this is the only chance I'm going to have to get any real movement in today. And that turned into an hour-long hike. So uh, the thing that, that I want to stress here is that, that life constantly has a way of getting in the way. But if you stay focused on the goal you're chasing and you find ways to pivot. It may not be pretty, but you'll still continue to make progress toward the goals you're trying to chase. I know it's not often, but I totally agree with you on that. <laughs> we we spend all this time, you know, I know I do anyway, putting together a plan of attack for whatever it is I'm working on. And when you get that curveball, we all get the curveball. You've got two responses that you could take on it. Is one is like, "Oh, fuck. Life always gets in the way. This is bullshit. Why do I never have time for me?" Or you can look at it as an opportunity to do something different. None of us likes to have to pivot. None of us likes to have to do something outside of the plan. But if you look at it as an opportunity to be like, hey, I get to deal with whatever life just threw at me and I'm going to hit my goal too, right? It, it makes it a little bit more of a game. It reminds me of this clip that I've been sharing with clients lately of George Lucas. I, I say it while I'm wearing my Star, Star Wars, Wars gear. Uh, he talks about giving advice to young film students. I like to tell students that I talk to that, you know, it's not a matter of how well can you make a movie. It's how well can you make it under the circumstances because there's always circumstances and you cannot use that as an excuse. You can't put a, a title card at the head of the movie and say, well, we had a really pro- bad problem. You know, this, the actor got sick and it rained this day and we had a hurricane and, you know, you can't, the cameras broke down. You can't do that. You simply have to show them the movie and it's got to work. You have to have a complete movie. Is it going to be Mm -hmm. perfect? Probably not. Are there going to have to be changes made along the way to make it better? Probably. It is pretty important to have that realization to be able to go do something different and change your mindset to life didn't get in the way to life gave me an opportunity to be better, to like figure something else out. If you're tired of dealing with those pesky post-workout aches and pains, we've got something you need to check out right now. It's the new Recover Ice Bath. It's the ultimate game changer for your recovery routine. And guess what? It's surprisingly affordable, and we're going to throw in free shipping anywhere in the world. That's not something we can offer forever, so you got to act fast to get your hands on this incredible ice bath. So don't let muscle soreness slow you down. Go to our website, click on the link in the show notes for this episode, and experience the power of the new Recover Ice Bath for yourself. An example from yesterday, this is not the reason why I was late and couldn't record the show. (laughs) This was even earlier in the day yesterday. I went to my gym and we did this big workout called the Murph, but it's a crazy, it's a ridiculous workout. Like you go run a mile, then you do a hundred pull-ups, then you do 200 push-ups, then you do 300 squats, and then you go run a mile again. So it's like, you know, it's pretty insane. And I ripped my shoulder a year ago and I haven't been able to do pull-ups until recently. So 
I walked into this like going, I'm going to, I'm going to try and do 50 pull-ups. And then after that, I'll go down to some modified version of like ring rows or something like that. That's easier. But on my 60th pull-up, right. I got past my goal. Um, like my hand immediately blistered and then a whole bunch of skin ripped off of my hand Mm -hmm. on the bar. Like, and it wasn't like super painful or anything, but it was like, if I had kept going on the bar, it would have just ripped it. Blood yeah, bath, it would have yeah. been horrible. Staph infection, lost my hand, all that <laughs> bullshit. Right? But you would have gotten the pull-ups done, brother. Uh, but I would have gotten them done. <laughs> so I, I, I mean, I did switch over to like a, you know, modified pull-up to finish the 30 I had to do or 40 I had to do. But when it happened, I walked over to the coach and I was like, hey, do you have a glove or a bandage or something? Because my first thought was like, I'll just put something on it and keep going. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, you, you should switch to something else and you should probably clean that out too. Cause yikes. And in that moment, like I had this, the, like this split second where I was like, ah, fucking life got in the way, mm-hmm. right? The skin ripped off my hand. I can't, I actually can do the pull-ups. Like I've got the physical capacity in my shoulder to do it, but I can't do it because my puny hand ripped apart. And I had that moment where I could have been like, life just got in the way. And I kind of turned around and looked and was like, you know what? I'm going to be really, really thankful that my shoulder is healthy enough for me to be able to do the, the volume of pull-ups that skin ripped off of my hand. It was like just that little shift of like life didn't get in the way. It gave me something to be happy about. This is a positive thing. Just like a little spin on it, right? And then I went off and I finished the rest of it with the modified version. And yes, I felt weak as I was doing all the the modified version of the pull-ups. But at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? Again, I won because I did more pull-ups than I wanted to. And the only thing that stopped me was my hand, not my shoulder, right? So it wasn't, yes, life got in the way, but I also proved to myself that I could do it. That's funny. That reminds me, you know, I told the just the brief story about taking the dogs for a walk and turning it into a longer hike yesterday. It was kind of the same thing. I had this realization where I was like, this is probably the only chance I'm really going to have to get out today. I better do something like it was this sort of negative, like "Ah, I I better do something about this. I'm not going to get to the gym. I'm not going to do the things I I said I was going to do today. And in changing my mindset around that and going like, oh, I can just turn this into a hike. It turned it into this nice hour long walk in the woods, beautiful nature bath experience, walk down to the lake. And when I got there, you know, I'm I'm in my normal clothes, like just normal shorts, normal T-shirt, tennis shoes, you know, the whole thing. And I realized there's no reason I can't get in this cold water right now either. I can, I can get in my cold therapy, do a little swimming and like enjoy this beautiful natural surrounding. And it would have been so much easier to just sit in the, uh, I better just walk these dogs real quick and get back to the grind of, you know, all the things I'm trying to get done, you know, with work and tasks and things. But rather than just dwelling on the fact that I'm not going to do the thing I said I was going to do, it actually ended up being something that was more fun and uh, added to, to my day. So to your point, life will get in the way, but sometimes it's the best possible thing that can happen because it will create a better outcome than whatever you had in mind to begin with. But you have to be the one that makes that, makes that choice because you can choose to be the victim in that and, and life got in the way and I, life sucks, everything is horrible, or you can choose to see an opportunity. You have to make that choice so it's all up to you. Like, whether you're angry or happy, that's a choice you make internally. There's really not much more to say about it than that. I mean, on top of the fact that we also have life on either side of this conversation that is looming in on us, and we had to make a conscious choice just to get this done today. Yeah, so with that, we, we need we, we need to uh, go take care of the other curveballs that are coming our way today. That's right. Life is about to get in the way of a whole bunch of things. So we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you'd like to continue the conversation, get additional resources and bonus clips that we offer to subscribers, you can do that through our newsletter. The link to that is on our website. It is thefitmess.com. That is where we will be back in just a few days with a brand new episode. Thanks again for listening. See you, everyone.